But we say, no, I will do what I like. When I like. Huh? <laughs> when, when I will like, I will do that. I see my Gurudev, Prabhupada say, I do that. My Gurudev say, you will travel the whole world, I will start crying. Why? Because I come for bhajan and he said to travel the whole world. He said, why are you crying? I said, I come for bhajan in Vrindavan. I took your shelter to do bhajan here, to, to, to realize myself. When he said, you will travel, he said, he was very happy inside and he said, then after last you will stay there. Then you will be like a mad person. I believe it will happen. When everything happens, it will also happen. We have to believe in the words of Guru. Guru is Nekai. If you doubt, that makes suffering in our life. We suffer not for because of Gurudev, because of my thinking. My ego is so heavy that I don't accept Gurudev. And without, without ego, bhajan is not happening in our life. We have to come from the bodily consciousness, ego. You see, Chananda, how humble he is. One day I say he is going to learn Sanskrit, he is going to learn Hindi. I say, Prabhuji, Maharaj, this is not your time to learning yourself. This is time to realize and help to others. Next day he left all, everything. Jayananda, Jayananda, what is Jagdananda? He asked me, you stop Jayananda to come to learn Sanskrit? I say, I interpret, interpret wrongly. I say, now is your time because you are a spiritual master, you have to realize to her. He has less time and he has many things to do in his life. Before he has too much time, now he has no time. And his time for not for himself now. It's time for service for, for Radha Mohan or his devotees. That is his service. How he can use time for himself? Same. It's over now. It's not time for learning for me. It's over. So it's better you learn before. Now you have to serve. You have to develop your realizations. What is the use of this life if I not develop my realizations? Why I come in my life? What I have to do? Only my ego will play with me. It's not good. Anything who disturb my my development is my ego. He make chanchala. I want to stay one place. 
he will disturb me to run here, run there, run there, run there, to make me more and more involved in useless things. I cannot be peaceful and settled. Radhe Radha. Where is Radha Mama? I don't want to disturb you. Yeah, he's a disturbing to me. Go on, we sing by them. Sorry, I'm not telling to you, I'm telling to everyone. You get the example to show. Thank you. Vrinda Vaneshwari Tataiva Padaravinda Premam Ritai Kamakarandara Saugha Purnam Vidyar Pitam Madupate Smaratapam Ugram Nirvapayat Paramasi Sitalam Sitalam Ashrayami O Queen of Vrindavan, when Madhupati, Krishna, the Rasika bee, holds your most cooling lotus feet that are filled with the honey of nectarian love taste to his heart, he extinguishes the terrible fire of his desire. I take shelter of these feet, Sri Padi saying. <coughs> this commentary is called Sri Radha's Cooling Lotus Feet. And last time we were reading how Krishna and Radha was going to meet and how Sripad feels separation from Swamini. Feeling great separation, Sripad thinks, There is no other recourse, no other solution, but to take shelter of Sri Radha's most cool lotus feet. Parama Sitalam Tataiva Padaravindam Ashrayami I take shelter of these feet. Then a new pastime suddenly appears before Sri Pat's love anointed eyes. <coughs> he sees Sri Mati sitting in a kunja, agitated by feelings of separation from Krishna. <coughs> Krishna, who is somewhat late, for his appointment. Srimati embraces her girlfriends and laments as follows. Srimati is saying, I made a bed for my lover and strung a flower garland for him. I prepared better leaves and I lit the lamps. I made the kunya very beautiful. But, oh my friend, all this will turn out differently. I will not meet my hero. 
my hero who is an ocean of attributes. I cheated my mother-in-law and I cheated my sister-in-law to come into the deep forest and with great effort I decorated my youthful beautiful body to meet my lover. I'm looking down the road for him to come telling my mind that this Telling my mind that this crown jewel of relishers will certainly come now. I'm looking down the road for him to come. Telling my mind that this crown jewel of relishers will certainly <laughs> come now. Dina Chandi Dasa Amen. Thus sings the wretched Chandi Das. As a maid servant, Sripad, Sripad, as a maid servant, pacifies. Virahabhati, the separated Radha, Virahabhati. He's saying, or she is saying, stay calm as a little, stay calm a little. Your lover will come just now. And indeed, Really, after a slight delay, Krishna arrives. Although Radhika blooms up of joy when she sees her lover coming, she becomes proud. She becomes proud because of her natural vamya svabhav, her unsubmissive nature, her unsubmissive nature, which makes her pull her veil over her face and turn her back on her lover. Again, this. Mm. So Radha is praying to her maid servant Sripad, and then Sripad, as a maid servant, pacifies Virahavati, separated Radha, saying. Stay calm a little. Your lover will come just now. <coughs> and indeed, after a slight delay, Krishna arrives. Although Radhika blooms up of joy when she sees her lover coming, she becomes proud because of her natural <coughs> vamya svabha, meaning her unsubmissive nature, <coughs> which makes her pull her veil over her face and turn her back on her lover. The Dagda Raj Krishna. Krishna, the king of clever pranksters, 
tries to pacify her by using so many clever words. Sitting at her beautiful feet, <coughs> he prays to her with folded hands. He prays to her with folded hands, lift your face and look at me, O Rye. Give up your pride and look at me once. Look at me once, then the darkness in my heart will be dispelled. Cry. How much more will you test me? Take my flute if you want. Take my flute if you want as long as I can touch the dust of your lotus feet. <clears throat> you are the ointment on my eyes. You are the ointment on my eyes that are absorbed in looking at you, staring at you. And you are the thief on my heart. The Creator has given you the most beautiful form, qualities, and tender youthfulness in the whole world. Oh, beautiful girl, why should you mice be miserly when you possess all this wealth? Why should you be miserly when you possess all this wealth of beauty? Today, the jewel of lovers. Today, the jewel of lovers is not able to soften Srimati's heart. <coughs> His heart is burning severely with lust as he thinks to himself, Let me see what happens if I touch her beautiful feet just once. When he thinks like that, a wave of bliss flows through his heart. Sri Radhika sits on the jeweled throne keeping her feet on a footstool. Krishna tries to please her and catches these feet to place them on his head. But at the same time, Srimati pulls her feet back so that they end up on Krishna's chest. Srimat Kavi Karnapura describes how beautifully Srimat is foot lack. Her foot lack then shines on Krishna's chest. May the lack on Radha's lotus feet that sticks on Hari's chest and defeats the beauty of the Srivatsa sign, the Kashtuba Yam, and the goddess of fortune there that is praised by the rising sun and the end at the end of night and that looks like a big blossoming red lotus flower in the water of the Yamuna. May that protect you.
now Sri Hari has extinguished the burning fire of lust in his heart by keeping her cool lotus feet to it. Sri Hari has extinguished the burning fire of lust in his heart by keeping her cool lotus feet to his heart. The word Madhupati in the text means relishing bee. A bee's heart is soothed by a cooling drink of honey. But this bee, Madhupati Krishna, is cooling himself off by keeping lotus flowers to his chest. Yeah. These are extraordinary lotus flowers. Normally, a lusty man feels even more agitated by the fire of lust when he sees a lotus flower which may remind him of his beloved's feet. But Krishna extinguishes the strong fire of lust in his heart with a cooling touch of Sri Radhika's lotus feet. Sri Radhika's lotus feet that are filled with the sweetest nectar stream of love. Nectar is both cooling and intoxicating. The word Makaranda Rasa, honey juice, in the text can also indicate a love called Madhus Neha. Madhus Neha, which is defined by Srila Rupa Goswami in Ujjval Nilamani as follows. Madhus Neha is that kind of self-manifest sweet love that consists of different mellows and that makes the lover think Krishna is mine. So again Rupa Goswami says Madhusneya Madhusneya is that kind of self-manifest sweet love that consists of different mellows and that makes the lover think Krishna is mine. When Sneha increases, it shows an ever-fresh sweetness. It makes the beloved crooked and unsubmissive, and this is called Manu. Again. Oh, sorry, Gurudev, I jumped over one paragraph here. I have to go back. <laughs> so, Rupa Goswami is defining in Ujjval Nilamani. Manusneya, Madusneya is that kind of self-manifest sweet love that consists of different mellows and that makes the lover think Krishna is mine.
Chandravali has Grita Sneha, love like clarified butter. And Radha has Madhu Sneha, love like honey. Because Radhika's lotus feet contain different mallows, they are called Rasaogha in the text. You see the butter and honey as a different thing. Butter is melting when it brings to the fire. When Chandra, Chandravali is butter, she was strong all the time. When he, Krishna comes, then she starts melting. Butter melt, no? Oh, it is clarified butter, it means ghee. Ghee, butter, hard butter mm. and melting butter. Mm. And honey has one stage of sweetness is there, liquid is there, and we always like to take honey because it's same taste and is no taste changing. Not hardness, not softness, not like this. So Radhika has only honey, Madhusneha. So this is name Radhika, Madhusneha. <laughs> Butter is also good, but honey is more good <laughs> because this honey is uh, coming from the flower and it's always stay till when you keep it. Butter, if you keep five years or one year, you cannot eat. Honey you can eat after ten years also. And bee only wants honey and this Krishna only wants honey, Madhusne, because sweetness never lose. You ten years, same sweetness, same flavor, same color, it will be there. So, love of Radhika is like a Madhusne, like a honey. Chandravadi, Grita Sneha means like a butter. It become hard, it become soft, it become different varieties. It become bad, it, it useful, not useful, like this. Because Chandravali say, I am yours, now you have to take care of me. Your responsibility to take care of me. And Radhika say, you are mine. Every time I will carry you and will give love to you. This is Madhusri. Gurudev, there is also, I remember from Ayurveda, that if you mix honey and uh, ghee, uh, I think 50-50, like taking each same amount, and this become, if you eat that, it becomes poison for the human body. Mm. Right. Right. We should not mix these two. Yes. <coughs> <coughs> you cannot mix both of more together. I am yours, I am you are mine. You are mine. Your my is more sweet, more highest. This is Mahabhava, Mahadanakya Bhava, Ujjwal Ratha. You are my. What you do, I don't bother. But I, you are my. Then you will ask why? 
Radhika happy when she see Krishna coming late, and again she turn herself and showing that she is angry. Why? Because to increase love, little man is important. No is important. If you not say no, I reject you. Then love cannot increase. No is a beauty to increase the love. When Radhika is telling no and turn like this, means more yes. I am waiting so much. You give so much thing, and you 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 are talking softly to me to attract me. No. To increase that uh, mood more higher, <laughs> then Krishna catches the feet of Radhika, and she wants to put on his head. But Radhika turns her feet backside, so it goes to the chest. Krishna's chest. Chest. So this chest is the lotus feet of Radhika come on the chest of, because Alta the color. The, the red foot lamp. Red foot lamp come to his chest. So Krishna is always keeping in heart his his feet. In Chandravali, she always says yes. Yes. Because she's not tasteful. She's a butter. <coughs> she melt immediately and yes, yes. <laughs> but Radhika increased by telling no more love to Krishna, more more bigger pastime. You know, when they say no, then pastime become more bigger. Again, something has to do to Krishna to please Radhika. This, this increasing in between exchange of love. Guru, one question. <coughs> this "I was me, I was me" is the the mood of uh, Chandravali, but I, I always heard. Some Rupa Nuga Vaisnava in the prayer they tell that I was me, I was me. But this is the Manjari who is praying this to Radhika. Oh. I am yours, I am yours. Actually, you are my, you are my. The mood of Chandravad is this, you, I am yours. But it should be, you are my, you are my. So I was me means I am yours. King Chris can say also, I am yours. <coughs> the Radhika's Dasi say, You are my Radhika, mm. you are my Radhika, mm. you are my Radhika. Here you mine was nice. Because Radha King Kri also has the same mood like Radhika. You are so beautiful, sweet. Huh? This is Krishna's meeting with Radha. Mm. You are. And when this sneha, we have we read about Grita sneha and Madhu sneha. Mm. So when this sneha increases in intensity, it's called man. Mm. You know, intensity means love becomes the highest. Then you want to more high. <coughs> then you say, 
man is coming angerness is coming reject reject rejection coming what radhika is re- rejecting krishna no why to to also to help uh, to increase the krishna's love and giving chance to the kinkiris manjaris to help to krishna now to the servant mm go rupa goswami in ujwala nilamani he continues to speak about sneha when sneha increases it shows an ever fresh sweetness ah. sneha is the word in english love but the sneha is a different meaning in hindi when when the two divine couple they don't can live without each other always in the mind is moving for each other all time they are thinking for each other this sneha this means sneha mind is in intensely busy to think on that so radhika is teaching we when we will life of kinkari will sneha will come then all the time you will think on me and you will by thinking that you will think to krishna then that's radhika is always thinking for krishna krishna is always thinking for krishna is this type of love is there Ah. When sneha increases, it shows an ever fresh sweetness. Ever fresh. Every time is a sweetness because after so much thinking of separation, sneha means when you will think that when you are not in meeting, then you are thinking in your separation. You are thinking. and is ever fresh when you meet is not that is very t- many time i meet is a first meeting ever fresh it gives you the freshness radhika and krishna both meeting but ever fresh this was the first meeting This increase makes the beloved crooked and unsubmissive. Yeah. And this is that beloved mind. Radhika become crooked and unsubmissive. <clears throat> Why? To increase more love to the Krishna. Radhika become crooked and unsubmissive. Mm. this is called man this crookedness and unsubmissive rejecting to love is man krishna is the radhika is rejecting to krishna and unsubmissiveness showing to krishna long time in sneha long time thinking for you and want to see and at the same time she is crooked <coughs> and unsubmissive mm-hmm. you see the beauty <laughs> intensely want to see krishna and when krishna come she become crooked don't want to talk don't want to see 
turned the face and very unsaid, unpolite, only rejecting, go out. I know everything of you, what you are doing. Answer me, sir. Why? To increase more love side to Krishna also. <coughs> impatient, want to make more impatient to Krishna. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Now, now Rasaraj Krishna soothes his heart soothes his heart. Soothe means? Meaning make it cool. Yeah, cooling and more sweet. Mm. Softness. Yeah, so more softness. Or any ego is what there, it God. Now no ego. More dasya that is coming to him. How to make <laughs> happy. How to, how to please her. How to make happy. How to yeah. So so how, what to do now? <laughs> he soothes his heart by being touched by this excellent sneharas. Yeah. Touching from the feet by Radhika in, in chest of Krishna, mm. it was so soothing. Mm. By rejecting, she rejecting, want to pull the feet and it went to the Krishna's chest. Oh. So it, it was soothing for him. Wow, what happened? That's so good. Yes. So Krishna, he manages to soothe Radha's man by keeping her feet to his chest. And Sripad is so fortunate to relish the sweetness of their amorous meeting. And Sripad, the king is, Manjiris are relishing to see this pastime. Understand? It's happening. And you all are, as a Manjiri, looking that, and you feel soothing. The only Sahamani, my Radhika, can give soothing because she's, her lotus feet gives coolness to the Krishnas when she put the feet on her. So similarly, <coughs> by looking this pastime, uh, Manjaris, Kinkris, and all we, what we are listening this past time, we feel soothing. Krishna manages to soothe Radha's man by keeping her feet to his chest. And Sripad is so fortunate to relish the sweetness of their amorous meeting. In, in this moment, but, uh, Kikari only looking, do nothing. Is, uh, what, what they can do? They understand <laughs> what is happening. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> I see how Radhika is uh, worried to see Krishna ten minutes later always asking to me where he comes or not, he comes or not. We are soothing him that he is coming. Yes, your watch is little fast. Wait, he is coming. He is not late. Maybe something happened. He will come. That time she was so anxious. And when he come, he she turned. She don't want to see Krishna. What happening now? <laughs> And she's happy also that Krishna is here and 
at the same moment she turned and she showed the angerness, rejection. Yes, but my question is, in this moment do nothing, but it's not Shanta. It's, uh, no, Shanta. They are acting there. How Shanta? They are, they are in, this, in their sarup. They are looking this surprising pastime. This is the, today the meeting. The touching the feet of Radhika on the chest of Krishna, this was their meeting. And they follow Radha's mood. Mood. They follow the mood. What Radhika wants, they want to do. When they, Radhika feels that now is too much, I am in man, then they make harmonize to both of them <laughs> to cool down her man. <laughs> it's too much. Now Krishna will go. Then they act. <laughs> yeah. You say, go on. <clears throat> suddenly, now suddenly the vision slips away from Sripad. You see, suddenly now stop, like our stop. Vision stop. This past time, because we come in bodily consciousness, our vision stop. <laughs> Then, when this vision stops, what Sripad do? He cry, he chant. He cry and chanting is crying, is chanting. He is crying to how to get again vision then, to I can again go in the past time. Again I can enter again. This crying is my chanting. I want to enter again for that. I want to see again something. Now what is happening to my Swamini? Because I am the servant of Swamini, I don't want to leave her. If I am there with Radhika, then again Krishna will come. What pastime is happening now? All the time something is going on there. Go on. Sripad's heart then begins to burn. You see, crying, burning. How you can cool with japa? Burning without that pastime. <coughs> this suppression from my swami. From my Radhika. Go on. Sripad's heart then begins to burn in the fire of separation once more. Not with Krishna, with her Sovani, Radhika. Because of you, I can see these things. I can relish this mood. Because I come in my bodily consciousness. I'm burning. Sripat, desiring the shelter of Radha's cooling lotus feet. Again, you see? Not Krishna, Radhika's cooling lotus feet. Her cooling lotus feet to extinguish that burning fire in his heart, he says, those same cooling lotus feet that extinguish the fire of Krishna's lusty desires are the only means to pacify the pain of separation that I feel. Again, we very important line. Sri Pad desiring the shelter of Radha's cooling lotus feet to ex extinguish that burning fire in his heart. He says, Burning fire in the heart of the kinkiris, uh, in the sadhak there, 
Yes. Mm. Those he says to praying like this to Radhika or to his Ishtadev. Radhika. Those same cooling lotus feet that extinguish the fire of Krishna's lusty desires. Krishna has a lusty fire inside in desires. That cooling also to Radhika's. So this, she cooled me, again I can enter in my Siddha Deha to see that. I'm burning because of my bodily consciousness. Mm. I want to go again in my Sarup to enter in, again in my shelter of Radhika to see more. And Krishna lusty desire also I can see, how is lusty to meet with Radhika. How I will see Krishna? What he is doing? Automatic you will see when again you will enter in your spiritual body. When you will take Radhika's lotus feet, you will see how Krishna is lusty desire and burning inside him in that lust to meet Radhika. <laughs> this Supreme Personality. <coughs> yeah, forget himself. Yeah. Those same cooling lotus feet that extinguishes the fire of Krishna's lusty desires. <laughs> They are the only means to pacify the pain of separation that I feel. Mm. O oh, Queen of Vrindavan, O oh, Enchanter of Hari's heart, who gives ever new pleasure to the eyes, you oh. give new flashes in my eyes, new pastime in my eyes. If you are not there, nothing can come in my life. You make the... to enter in that to see what is happening. You open door to enter there. O moon of Maharaj, Vrishabhanu's dynasty, your lotus feet are the abode of the nectarian honey of love. Premamrita Makaranda Dham. When all the senses of the Hari bee, the prince of Raj, are burning in the horrible fire of lust, he holds your feet to his chest to extinguish that fire. Yeah. O oh Radhe, your feet are the treasure of all the devotees and they are the highest abode of bliss. Sri Prabhudananda take shelter of these lotus feet while singing this in topmost bliss. Sri Radha's cooling lotus feet. The school to the kinkiris, the in your Siddha Deha, and the schools to the Krishna also. This is the center point who cools Krishna's burning desires and it cools when we enter in my Siddha Deha, a spiritual body, to see conjugal love exchange. It cannot be in physical body. We have to enter in my spiritual body. When we come back, then we are in the fire. 
of suffering. Then we enter again back, then again past time is done. This is the practice in a spiritual body. Gurudev, who, who decide uh, when some uh, go in and some go out to this meditation? <coughs> I decide for myself because I am in when it's happening, some story is happening. I don't want to come. And the moment the story stops, then I come back in my bodily consciousness. It's a nature, because my land is body. And so I go to my spiritual body when I desire to move from land to myself. Then I start looking this. And when I want to come back to my land, then it stops. Yes, but if I decide to come back, why after I, I cry for go again in? Because it's more testful. <coughs> when you will feel that test, then you will cry. If you don't feel test, no cry. <laughs> if you want again to enter, you will cry for that. You will chant. Chanting is crying. <coughs> Chanting is to bring back to me there. What is meaning of chanting? Without this test will not come. Why not test is coming in chanting? Because I, I have not increased this mood and I never see this divine thing. The test is not coming. Some flash will come, some realization of flash will come, more and more tests will come. You check, who has a, some flash, they like to chant. Who never had the flash, they press to chant. So this helping, you don't need to press yourself, it will start flowing to chant. Chanting, Oh, I will be out of you. This name will bring you again in that divine, my soul. Yeah. But sometimes uh, the Guru or Vaishnavas mercy too, they can uh, bring you some flesh when they want. And then they, by chanting. Yes. By the, their will they can say, you, you can get a little mercy like this. Yes, yeah. It's possible, no? Guru Vaishnava is everything. Without Guru Vaishnava nothing is happening in our life. Guru Vaishnava is everything. Guru is who is Guru? Radha Dasi, servant of Radhika. You say Guru or Radha Dasi, it's the same. You say Kinkari, Manjari, <coughs> Guru, is all servant of Radhika. <coughs> now I am here, then I come back in Italy, and I desire to meet you again. This is the beginning of this, or is another thing? Mm -hmm. This desire to meet you again, I listen from you. This is the beginning of this, or is another thing? You will start living there, in Italy, 
What is Vrindavan? Vrindavan is divine. Sadhus are telling that this Vrindavan, why we come? To realize and bring that realization where I am living. And that will become Vrindavan. Where the five person will in the same mood, you get it, and you go in that, it will be now. Where the story of Radhika is there, that is Vrindavan. Swamini, where is living, that is Vrindavan. This is Vrindavan is the temple of Radhika. Dibya Vrindavan is a divine Vrindavan. When there is a no any pastime happening, in, in of Radhika, then we are missing Vrindavan. I see, see an, an Komala, Komalangani. One is reading and one is listening, two persons. Two persons there, one is reading, one is listening. I said, what you are reading? Just, we are reading some books. I said, which book? Vilap Kusumanjali, Radha Rasudam. This book reading one page, his whole day is going on in your meditation. One page, tenth line, read and it will go on. You do everything, but your mood is connected. Divine connection. Because where is Radhika Krishna is there? And we are searching, but we ne- can, cannot meditate on him. Here automatic he is coming. We no need to search for him. Yes, Jesus said also to his disciples, when Two or three of you meet together, I am with you. Krishna also says yeah. in Bhagavad Gita, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> one listener is important. If you read, one listener is more important than reader. <coughs> we are all listeners. He is not very important. <laughs> The speaker is not very important. I think I'm very important. <laughs> <laughs> but important person is that who is listening, I mean, which taste he is listening. It increases that taste here. Yeah. How deep is understanding and going deep to understand. <coughs> Listener make the vibration positive and very sensitive. It depends upon the speaker how he touch, give the feeling to understand, make easy to understand. But the understanding is the important thing. Understand. One understanding is from mind and one understanding from the heart. When you understand here, you will never forget. Yes. Can Radha Dasi can be in a female form, in a masculine form too? Hmm? What? Uh, we say our line is Rupanuga, and Rupanuga are only female form. Female. Female. So I ask Maharaj, can it be <coughs> it can be as well in a, our line masculine form? This teaching Rupanuga. Rupanuga. Hmm. Rup- 
by Rupanuga is also male form. So Mahaprabhu come to teach us that you can serve to Radhika in male form also. Both. Yeah. Then you have to go Navadip. Only you can meditate in pastime of Navadip. Yeah. This is the Gauranga Lila. Yeah. This is Rastu. Yeah. When you want to take shelter of Radha or Vrindavan, mm. then you have to come in female form. What is that? Male form is my body. This land is male. Mm. You are a female body, but the enjoyment tendency inside you is, is a male. Me. This is enjoyment tendency is male form, yeah. and how to enjoy it is a male form. Mm. So that to test. When you are in bodily consciousness, then is a male form. And when you are brought in your soul consciousness, in your sarup you become female. Then you can change the dress of Radhika. You change the dress in your sarup, then you feel the taste in that. You know, the female form is the changing, like a five woman. They can change for all one room. They can change together. But one male bone, they will say, go out. Even to the husband, they will say, go out, I am changing my clothes. So this is the nature of female. You have to become female in your spiritual body is female form. So Radha Bhajan in Vrindavan, you have to identify your spiritual body. Gaur Lila in Navadi, you can be in your body form and you can go in the service of Gaur Lila. So Radhika become male because of that, that you can do service of Gaur and you can dump develop greed for Radhika's service, because God means Radha. Radha is outside, Krishna is inside. So spiritual development is there, but we change ourselves in rituals. We don't want to increase inner progress. We don't want to develop outer progress. In outer activities, we have to go in inner activities more. And Gurudev, also in Krishna Leela, it is not possible to go in this... Uh, if I have a fem female form here in this world, I cannot go there with this female form because we all have, we are suffering from uh, Purush Bhav in this world. Oh, you see, then only one Purush can stay in one place. This is the nature. Krishna is Adi Purusham, one Purush, one male. And I become male. Krishna, go out. He said, This is not my place because you are male. You want to enjoy, I am an enjoyer, so I will, enjoy, I will, how I can stay here? Because you are enjoying, so I don't, you don't need me. If you want to enjoy it with me, then you have to become female to come to me. Huh? In Bulgaria, there is one temple, there is a Krishna with the cows picture. You see that? Yes. And one picture also is of Maharas. I say, the 
one president of this temple asked to me, what is the difference of this picture? I say, you see, it's very clear. There is one Krishna and all animals are there. We cannot develop more than animal consciousness to reach Krishna alone. Your animals has no sense of relationship. And you see here Krishna, Krishna is again alone, but all his gopis, female. They can be together. Huh? There is two ways to go. If you want Krishna alone, you have to be animal. You, you cannot change your this, uh, what you say with Bhaiti Bhakti, Anartha Nibhati. You show me? Thirty years of practice, how much Anartha Nibhati change? <laughs> change any Anartha Nibhati, you got it? Yeah. Take the shelter of Radhika, you will get the female form, and you will get the or closest association of Krishna, what you like. I say, you see, Radhika Shakti, Radhika Krishna, you take the Radhika's Krishna shelter, take Radhika's shelter, all you will become automatic gopi by mercy of Radhika. That means why the uh, Anartha Vinariti forget, don't take care like this. How much you never from your Anartha? I can, you can know, this is too difficult. <laughs> Talking is different thing, doing it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Coming in is hard to point, yes. <laughs> Easy to confuse that you practice this, then you will get it. Because it's getting, who will give you, they have to be in that to tell you. They cannot share without practicing themselves. Anartha will never go till taking mercy of Radhika. Guru is nothing, only servant of Radhika. You understand this. If you think that Guru is everything and he is my goal of life, is bogus. Jesus say is a way of. He will show you a way. He is also like you in a spiritual world, maybe one year, one day older and younger, nothing more. He's like your friend. He's friend. He is friend. Guru is a friend to guide you, help you, and show you the way, like a navigator. You put navigator in car, this navigator is like a guru, showing you the way. But goal, you have to walk. You have to drive till navigator not bring you. <laughs> you have to do it. <laughs> guru is only navigation doing. Yeah, you are right. Turn right now. Turn left now. Sorry, you make a wrong. <laughs> Radha Moon is a bowl. We like Mohan, but Radha's Mohan. When this desire will come, everything will be easy. <laughs> you see, Gauranga, Radha Krishna is not alone. How you can make alone to reach there? Then you not understand Gauranga. Very clear line. Goranga make our life more clear, crystal clear. You say Krishna and Radhika? No. 
राधा इन साइड कृष्णा अरे इन साइड कृष्णा इज ओके बट राधिका इज मेन यू सी राधिका सो टेक सेल्टर ऑफ फर्स्ट राधिका देन कृष्णा यू विल सी ऑटोमेटिकली बिकॉज इज द राधा कृष्णा is not very far from radhika only i want to see one flash of krishna is a god forget he is not god he is the radhika's friend if he is a god he will, he will make you more happy than as a god He was. He he cannot hide you anything, because he cannot hide with Radhika anything. Gopina, who I was, Anil. You see. This is Vrindavan. Only Vrindavan you can feel it and realize it. Anarthani, <laughs> I become seventy years old. My anartha not go, but I can tell you. <laughs> How nirvrti will come when I am in my salup consciousness? I am out of anartha. When I come again back to my bodily consciousness, again anartha is coming. What I can do? How I can explain you? But anartha with is also what should be gamma? You not from rupa kuswami? And what so we gam and so we gam, Rudra we gam, Darbhisha. Anand, Sabhi, Sanskrit, Shloka, everything is there. It's it's very good to listen, but we have to practice. Mahaprabhu say practice. How much you can practice in your life? How you can change your life by practice of Radha Dasyam is the only way, only way, only way. <laughs> Mahaprabhu following is the only way, only way, only way. <laughs> And Mahaprabhu following means Radha following is Radha following, Radha following. <laughs> Mahaprabhu is teaching to follow the love. Gauravani is to follow the love. If there is no love, you cannot utter one time name without. Only you can utter the name, talk the name of your lover. Love automatic. You will not. No. Nobody will say to do, but you will do it. Do it. Do it. Because of love. <laughs> Nobody can hold you. Stop it. You cannot stop if you want to stop it. Because in love you are mad. It's the nature of the love. You cannot. Th- you cannot stop thinking of your lover. It will come like this in mind. You will stop here. Again, it will come from this way. You will stop here. It will come like this. It will go like this. <laughs> it's, it's a it's a it's a nature of the love. You cannot hold it. So that love only can possible to come by mercy of Radhika. This is Goranga Mahaprabhu mercy. Yeah, Chandrika. Hi. Understand? Hi. 